So we have the official announcement now. Apple will be releasing their latest MacBooks at the November 10th event. This, the official invitation from Apple. Although of course they haven't said this is for their MacBooks. We know it is, all of the rumors and leaks. Also some inside information, uh, reports from Bloomberg telling us about all the new products that we might be seeing at the events, really focused on Apple's new MacBook lineups. So according to Bloomberg, it looks like we've got three new MacBooks coming from Apple, at least two of them to be launched at this event. There will be a new MacBook Pro coming in at about 13 inches. So certainly not the biggest MacBook. It will have a smaller screen than the current largest MacBook Pro, which is about 16 inches. But there will be a new MacBook Pro 16 inch as well. This coming from Bloomberg, although it may not be coming at the same event. Apparently there are two models, the MacBook Pro 13 inch and the MacBook Air 13 inch, both coming at this event. Information from Bloomberg telling us that production for those two MacBooks is actually ahead of the larger 16 inch MacBook Pro. So we could see the two smaller MacBooks coming at the event. The 16 inch may be actually revealed at the event, may go on sale at a later date. Again, this information not too clear, but we know that there are three MacBooks coming, at least two at this event, possibly the third one as well. According to all the information we know, the MacBooks this time will have a very similar look to what we have now. So don't really expect too many design changes overall. You can see right now some concepts from a few concept creators that are looking fantastic, to be honest. Definitely some cool concepts here. I'll leave them in the links below so you can go and check out their channels. But in terms of the actual designs that we'll be getting, it should be the same form factors, more or less. So the MacBook Pro, obviously the 13 inch getting that MacBook Pro form factor. We would also expect that the MacBook Air 13 inch keeping the MacBook Air form factor as well. Obviously the difference is we're getting brand new internals this time around, and it's not just new internals, we're getting Apple Silicon chips. So this is the first time we're seeing these in actual products coming to the public. It's super exciting, benefits in efficiency, obviously gonna to be tons of benefits when it comes to the operating systems as well. And before we get into Apple Silicon and all the benefits, check out the links in the description for today's deals. There are some free trials and also some heavily discounted products on Amazon today. Check them out in the description below. All the other information we have is telling us that Apple will be redesigning the MacBooks for next year. So if you're looking maybe for a refresh on the outside as well as the inside, then next year could be for you. And lots of rumors about Apple switching to mini LED displays for maybe the iPad lineup and the MacBook and MacBook Pro lineups as well. Mini LED displays are kind of an evolution of the LCD or IPS LCD displays that Apple currently use in their iPads and MacBooks. Mini LEDs have tons of advantages over the IPS LCD screens that Apple are using. You can actually light up uh, areas of the screen, so you're gonna get better contrast ratios, deeper blacks, and apparently just improvements in colors and everything overall compared to the current IPS LCDs that we've got now. Anyway though, Apple should be using those in future MacBooks. A brand new form factor, 14.1 inch, and a 16.1 inch MacBook should be coming with mini LED displays, although they won't be coming until next year at the earliest. This is according to sources like Bloomberg and Ming-Chi Kuo telling us that those mini LEDs are going to be used by Apple as soon as they can, probably not in these MacBooks. We'll have to wait and see if maybe one MacBook can use them, but I would say next year for those. It's also thought that Apple will take about two years for the transition away from Intel chips in their MacBooks, moving over to Apple Silicon for all of the chips in their MacBooks. Apple Silicon is just the names they are giving these chips. And even though these are going to be based off the A14, which is the brand new chipset we find in the iPhone 12, the iPad Air also uses this one. It's not gonna be exactly the same. So Apple has moved to using letters after each of the chipsets to denote a change. So they actually already showed off the A12Z or A12Z if you're from the States. This is actually from the iPad lineup, but they used it in a Mac mini. This was only available for developers. 
but essentially it's a souped up version of the A12. Well, that's what we're going to be getting in this Apple Silicon lineup, a souped up version of the A14, suitable for bigger computers. So it is more power hungry, but you get more power out of it. And that's because obviously you have much bigger batteries. However, they have been found, and this is according to Bloomberg again, that the new Apple Silicon chips are far more energy efficient than the Intel chips that they're currently using. So we should be getting much more efficient chips. And along with that, some upgrades when it comes to obviously how all of the system and the OS works on MacBooks. It's exciting for sure, but this is definitely just early stages when it comes to Apple Silicon and all of the integrations between all of the Apple products and software. Also in Apple news, it looks like we're getting a new Mac Pro from Apple. And yeah, not many people interested in this because of just the crazy, crazy prices that these come at, especially if you need some wheels. But anyway, according to Bloomberg, it looks like a brand new Mac Pro is coming with Apple Silicon. So this is gonna have the same design more or less as the current Mac Pro, but it's gonna be more compact, apparently about half the size. So Apple engineers are apparently currently developing the new Mac Pro. It's unclear whether this will replace the current Mac Pro or maybe just be sold alongside as something that doesn't cost as much as a car. Anyway, this new Mac Pro with Apple Silicon could be ready for maybe 2021 or 2022. So yeah, it's a long way out. But something closer to home, maybe a new iMac. This looks to be coming as well, confirmed by Bloomberg and some other sources. That definitely won't be coming at this event though, but at next week's event, we will be seeing a 13 inch MacBook Pro and a 13 inch MacBook Air, according to Bloomberg. And also that 16 inch MacBook, it's in development, it's slightly behind the other two. So whether we see it at the event and it's revealed and then maybe comes on sale later, or whether they'll just save it all together and maybe just uh, push it out via website refresh, we'll have to wait and see. Also possibly coming at this event though, AirTags. And we've been talking about this for so long. We will know what they are. We will know they're coming. Whether they come at this event, it's kind of still unknown. Most industry sources are saying that the probability for AirTags at this event is very high. We also get Mark Gurman also coming out just saying that he kind of doesn't think they're coming because the two product lines are just totally not linked in any way. I completely understand that. I also completely understand all of the other analysts saying they might come because obviously we've got the holiday season coming up. These would just be a great accessory for Apple to sell. If you don't know what AirTags are, they are essentially a tiny tag, apparently about the size of a bottle cap. On the inside, they have Apple's U1 chip, the ultra wideband chip. This can be used to essentially locate the chip with very high accuracy within a couple of inches of where it actually is. So if you put this in your bag, in your car, whatever, you can actually go onto your iPhone, open the Find My app, and then all of your AirTags will be in there for you so you can locate them. These may be coming around $50 or so, according to leaks, and apparently AirTags are ready to go. They're not in development. They're not going to be produced. They have been made. They are sitting there ready to be launched, and Apple, for one reason or another, have delayed these and delayed these and not put them out. So everyone at every single Apple launch event will say, well, this is the time for AirTags, and well, the next Apple event may well be. But let me know all your thoughts in the comments as always. Check out the links in the description for today's deals on Amazon and all the concept creators as well. Big thanks to those. That's it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.